It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Will Edutech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the solution to question 60, the final question on the CSEC math exam, multiple choice pass paper. Now, here it states, but before we get into it, let's just pull this up a bit so that we can have the question in its entirety. Okay, I think that should be good enough. Now, here it states, a boy stands 12 meters from the foot of the building and observes the angle of elevation of the top of the building. And here we have a nice little diagram to illustrate that information given. Here we have the boy standing on the ground and the angle of elevation from where he's standing to the top of the building. You can see it here. And let's just let me just mark that quickly that angle of elevation is 40 degrees that angle there okay the height of the boy is 1.6 meters and he's standing 12 meters away from the foot of the building okay now here in question 60 they have stated here the height of the building is approximately and they have given us some options so obviously they need us to calculate that okay and speaking about the height of the building they're really uh, speaking about this distance here from the top of the building down to the ground level that total distance there all right now my friends if you if you are paying a key attention to the information given since i gave us the height of the boy to be 1.6 now to calculate this total distance here this height of the building then from the ground to the bottom of the triangle here to the base of the triangle this distance would also be 1.6 meters okay if you notice it's the same distance now therefore in order to calculate the total height of the building i would have to find the length from the base of the triangle here to the top of the building so we can just simply call that distance x okay my friends so i can just simply now make a statement and my statement with for the total height and i'm going to make it across here the total height height of the building must be equal to the 1.6 meters so i'm just going to simply put 1.6 plus x okay plus x because this x here plus this 1.6 would give us the total height as we have stated before now given the fact that we have a right angle triangle okay and we had they had gave us the the distance here my friends they had gave us the distance from the foot of the building to where the boy is standing to be 12 then obviously the base if you notice the base of the triangle is the same distance all right so we could simply say then that the base is 12 meters also because it's the same distance we have there so in order to find an expression for x okay we could simply say what since we have a right angle triangle working with and we are given an angle and the length of a side we can use a trig ratio to find uh, an expression in x for example okay now i am standing at the angle that is given where the boy is standing so the side that is across okay the side that is across from my angle oops that's an ugly color let's use a white the side that is standing across from where i'm standing is x and that's my opposite side okay let's just make some notes here i put opp for short and the side that they gave us is the adjacent side my friends okay the side if you notice adjacent means beside it's exactly beside the angle so i'm asking myself which trig ratio has opposite and adjacent in it well obviously that would be the tan ratio okay so we can say tan tan of theta is equal to the opposite the opposite over the adjacent okay now simply we can just substitute quickly we have the angle theta they gave us that so i can now say then that the tan tan of 40 degrees is equal to the opposite side which is x x over my adjacent side which is 12 meters 12 meters okay now if you notice my friends 12 is dividing this side and i want to make x the subject i want to find out what x is because if you notice in the original statement here i'm saying 1.6 plus x will give me the total height so let's quickly find what x is now since 12 is dividing this side i can multiply do the opposite of division which is to multiply both sides of my equation by my 12 okay so really i would have 12 there will cancel that 12 therefore i am left with 
12 times tan 40. And this can also be written as 12 tan 40. Okay? Must be equal to x because the 12 would cancel 12 there. Now, if you, if you made, if you make a connection to the original statement that we had, we had here for the total height, my friends, 1.6 plus x. That would give us a total height. Now, since we have an expression in x here, then now I can simply say my total height, my total, total height, height must be equal to 1.6, which we have already established, plus x, and x is 12 tan, tan 40 degrees okay so that this is the option that we're looking for so we have a 1.6 plus 12 tan 40 and that obviously is option d okay my friends so d is the correct option hope this was helpful feel free to ask a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye